In my 19 years of life, I've been through tons of hardships, including things like getting a job or going to classes. One of my first jobs was delivering pizzas. Yep, imagine that. Super Bowl Sunday and this demon pulls up to your house with your tray of wings and a 2 liter coke bottle. You better tip him well. Anyway, a few days ago I mentioned I wanted to do a video on some goofy simulators. God's gift to gamers who want to spend their day sitting at their computer feeling productive all while tapping away at a keyboard. Or a controller, we don't discriminate here. Now, the simulators I wanted to cover were specifically the ones that allow the player to feel productive. These include things like Power Wash Simulator, American Truck Simulator, Microsoft Flight Sim, or of course the most respectable career path. We chop three. I asked you little goofballs which ones you recommend and brought to my attention were things like Police Simulator and Bus Driving Simulator. But the other comment caught my eye. Brain Rot Games. What would a Brain Rot Simulator be? Now, no, this doesn't mean I'm gonna look for a TikTok Riz Party game or something, but as I was browsing current Steam deals, I saw something beautiful. Bum Simulator. I paid for this game expecting just a goofy sim where I walk around town and ask for money and maybe build some sort of trash empire, but what awaited me was something special. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're alive! Got me worried there, pal! They fucked us up pretty bad, huh? <laughs> I'm Carl! Carl Cardman, your best pal! Listen, I've played my fair share of simulators. I'm a big fan of previously mentioned American Truck Sim, Flight Sim, hell, even Weed Shop 3. But this was new territory for me. I began my journey like any self-respecting homeless man and talked to my shopping cart, which then told me to search the garbage for some food. It then became apparent to me that a megacorp stole my brain or something, I, I don't really know. Anyway, after my boyfriend Carl gave me the rundown on some basic homeless mechanics, we were off to the races. It's an easy route. Just push me where I tell you, okay, pal? Okay, now we're playing Crazy this Taxi. We met a fellow bum, and he wanted $10 to show me the location of my lost trusty pigeon. Now, of course, I did this in the only way I know how. Good! Time to let people know that you're in need of some cash by writing a message on the cardboard. I was gonna draw a small penis, but now it just kind of looks like cherries. All right, perfect. Fuck. Hey, not bad. Sure. Also, yeah, I got an achievement for my dog ass drawing, but I don't know. It seems pretty good to me. I begged and really started to feel like a bum. Once I finished beating up the locals and made some fresh doubloons, I got my pigeon back by flipping a man off and then pissing on him. When he didn't like that, I gave him an old knuckle sandwich. Now at this point, you may be wondering, Matt, what does the pigeon do? Surely it's like a carrier pigeon or something, right? No. They, uh, give me superpowers. It seems that you have recovered your shuriken pigeon. You trained it using the forbidden techniques passed down onto you by your ancestors. Thanks, pal. Let's fly. Reunited with my lover, off we went into the sunset, where I was once again under attack by another group of hooligans. Bug squash! Time to visit the pigeon lady! And then it happened. I met with Madam Pigeon, or whatever her name is, and she said I had a small penis. What a sorry sight. It used to be so huge. Now it is so small. 10 out of 10 game. Now, my original plan for this was just to talk about bum sim, but supermarket sim caught my eye, and I figured I'd check that out too. I imagined my bum sim character later in life, getting on his feet and finally landing a job. Let's see how that went. You gave me a $100 bill for a box of fucking cereal. You madman. Alright, that's all for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown into the more wackier side of the simulator genre. If you ever have any recommendations on what you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments. I only ever have so many ideas, and I'm sure there's a whole world of weird games out there. Or good ones, I like good ones too. I will play your good games. Also, just as a side note, I really appreciate the love my last Stardew video got. It's always great to see how many people enjoy my videos at a channel of my size, so I'm serious when I say it means the world to me. I've been having a blast so far, and I feel really lucky that I've been able to reach an audience of such amazing people. Also, thank you for the wonderful comments I get on most of my videos. You're all really, really sweet. Alright, bye.
This game is great. Right now, this little guy is your only pigeon. Make good use of him. Eh. Or her. Jeez, can't assume genders these days. Oh boy. That 